So many times the world around us becomes too overbearing for us to handle and we need an escape from it. Whenever I get this feeling, I resort to fantasy. And I just finished reading the most talked about and the most popular fantasy novel of the current times and that is The Way of Kings. It is a fantasy masterpiece as it is acclaimed written by Brandon Sanderson who went on to complete Robert Jordan's unfinished saga of Wheel of Time and got all the acclaim for that and people were really happy how he finished the last few novels. When I picked up this book I was honestly kind of unsure how I'm going to like it because uh, a certain part of me still believes that what George R. R. Martin has done with A Song of Ice and Fire series, the books I'm talking about, not the show. Uh, what he's done with that is something which is absolutely unparalleled to anything which had been done before and is very difficult to match. But uh, but but this book somehow uh, was able to satisfy me a lot. I absolutely enjoyed reading it and uh, it's something which uh, in spite of its size is quite a page turner and uh, although if I look back and I think about this book it's not filled with incidents. There are some parts which are very long narrations, but, but unlike a lot of other fantasy that I have read, Brandon Sanderson does not overindulge in describing things. He very masterfully will paint a very clear picture of what the costumes of the characters are like, what the, what the palace is and what the forts are like, what the landscape is like. But somehow, he doesn't overdo it, like a lot of other books end up doing it intentionally or unintentionally. One thing which I absolutely loved about this book was, um, I'm a geology geek, so, so I love it when people talk about the, the landforms and, and the mountain formations and all of that. And, and even uh, when, when it talks about the, the climate and the weather and how the climate changes, how the cloud patterns form and all of that, I find that really exciting. And that was something which, uh, which Brandon Sanderson uh, handled very nicely because there's a system of storms that happens in this book and that, that's a very important part of the whole book and the whole thing is pivoted around it. And the way he is described when it rains, the way he described when the storm comes and the way how lightning breaks out and all of that, that was something which was so graphically explained and that you really get a clear picture in your head when you're reading that. And there was one particular passage which I really enjoyed reading. It was about rain. So so there, there are two kinds of rain in that, uh, in that world that this book is set. One is during the high storm when it really rains like crazy and one is a lighter rain which happens every year which just goes on and on and on and keeps on soaking everything almost endlessly. So, so that bit is very beautifully explained in that book. Um, it's a fat book. I can keep going on about what I liked about the book because you can see the kind of markings I've made on the book already. Uh, but uh, but to conclude everything, if you are a fantasy fan, if, if, if you have an appetite for fantasy, there is no way you can miss this book. You have to read it. Uh, if if you if you're not too much into fantasy, then then maybe this is a book which is not going to appeal to you. Uh, but even then, what I would suggest is that there is a very wonderful audio book edition of this done by Graphic Novels. Maybe you can give that a try if if, if the text and the size of the book is something which intimidates you. Because all said and done, this book is a good thousand pages. So and I understand not everyone would want to you know, invest their time in, in reading such a book. Another thing which I enjoyed was that the number of characters in this book was limited and they very easily register in your mind and you're able to follow them. Their thought process, their backgrounds, their motivations, everything is explained very clearly and it's not very difficult to follow. Generally, when I've picked up some other fantasy novels, uh, what I constantly need to do is I need to, you know, either go online and have the special fan pages and see who is which character and where are they coming from and what are their family trees like and what are they doing and all of that for this book i did not need to do that the characters are explained very nicely and i was going through one of the reviews uh, online on youtube only and that person said that there is there is not a lot that happens in the book the action is limited but a lot of the book is dedicated to explain how the characters are feeling and what they are doing and why they are doing and i think that part is really well done in this book so to sum it all up it is fantasy 
not everyone has an appetite for that but if you do this is something which i think you're going to enjoy and if you pick up and read this book i will be very intrigued to know how you enjoyed it and if you've already read it please let me know how you liked it i hope you liked today's video please feel free to ask anything that you want to see you next time guys cheers